Hi, I'm LT from the Sheepdog Society. Thank you for joining me today. And of course, another bag video. Some people call this the get home bag. Some people call it the bug out bag. I like the get home bag because ultimately in a crisis, we may really, mostly we just want to get home. So what constitutes, uh, what's going to, have to be a crisis out here? Well, we can have, it doesn't always have to be terrorism. Uh, there could be panic set in from a hazardous material incident. Uh, you could have a, a shooter that has done some things that, uh, you know, could be a rumor going around that causes panic. So anyway, that, those are a few things that can cause a, an incident where you are unable to continue driving. In my area, a few years ago, there was a large ice storm and we don't deal with ice or snow or anything cold very well and people had to park on the interstate and they just left their vehicles or they stayed in their vehicles until rescue came and a lot of them were, were unsuccessful. They found themselves in a bad situation. So in a crisis, when we're trying to get home, a couple things, we're trying to be non-confrontational, hopefully. We're not trying to go out and Rambo through a, a crisis scene. As a sheepdog, we're also trying to help those who are, are unable to help themselves, perhaps they're elderly or perhaps they're, they're, maybe they have a physical issue and they're not as strong, it could be a mental issue or they're not able to deal with crisis very well. And so we want to consider that when we're packing our bag. Now there are a lot of good information, there's a lot of good information out there. A lot of guys really know what they're doing. They can go through all the details of everything in their bag right down to the molecules but all I'm trying to do with this video is give you some ideas of what I have, why I carry it. I'll go through as, as, as quick as I can. But this is just to kind of uh, uh, spur your thoughts a little bit. You're going to build a bag and perhaps you didn't think about some of the things that I have. Or maybe in the comment sections, I didn't think of something. So anyway, let's go through it. Um, I have been in situations where there has been panic and crisis and... Got a little bit of experience with that. All right, this is my medical pack. Generally, it, it attaches onto my bag. It holds on there very well. I've had to maneuver a few things on here to, to make it hold up. The bag of my choice, I found this at one of the uh, really high-end uh, sporting goods stores. It's the Drago bag. The bag that I had before was probably too much. You need to take that in consideration because when you've got a giant bag, you tend to fill it up like I did. I had everything in there from food to building supplies to spare doors and car parts. It was incredible. I probably had, you know, realistically, I probably had 30 pounds. And at my size, getting home from where I work over 20 miles away, it's probably gonna take me a couple days, especially in the peak of summer. And it's gonna take me quite a while. And I'm gonna try to get off the, the, the main path and, uh, that's probably gonna add time. Okay, so let's go through my bag and we'll start up here at the top. This is really something you should go through every 30 days. Uh, I've got a headlamp here and this headlamp has the infrared setting and also has the light settings. Now, the reason why I prefer the ones with the, the red light setting and infrared setting here, uh, you don't wanna have a bright light if you're behind a building or you're somewhere in the woods and you're trying to look at something to see if you're on the right path. You don't wanna have a light blast out but there are occasions where you maybe could use that light. So remember, you're gonna attract some attention. You can get those any, any of the big box hardware stores, 15 bucks. Uh, right here, I have a cherry cloth towel. It wasn't this dirty when I put it in here a couple years ago. Why do I have this? And uh, naturally, it's something I can grab kind of quick if I've got a scratch or a cut or something like that. But also, I could take and uh, put this in a puddle of water and draw this, draw up the water and if I don't have a, a container, a, a, perhaps a plastic bottle I found on the side of the road or a cup that I have with me, I could squeeze that out and I could also use that moisture if I'm very hot, all right? We know we gotta have water. Of course, we just mentioned that and I got the Life Straw. The Life Straw is great. It is really a, 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 a very innovative instrument. You see the kids in the third world countries drinking out of mud puddles with these. The Life Straws work. They're affordable, about 20 bucks. 
But the only thing that I, I have an issue with life straw is that you kind of got to get down into the water. You know, it's kind of like the gazelle drinking and the lion is lurking through the bushes. And at my size, laying down and drinking sometimes uh, it's not a very smart thing. So there's some other brands out there, Sawyer, Ketadine. Uh, Sawyer has one that you could actually put on a uh, that you could actually put on a bottle. Uh, you can also it comes with a neat little filter system, and you can just take and put fill your fill your bottle up, or it's got a little uh, bag that goes with it. You just squeeze that straight through. These things work fantastic, also, and they're affordable. You're, uh, you're talking about another item that's somewhere in the twenty dollar range. Sometimes you get the two packs for you know 30 35 bucks all right uh, we know we have to have nutrition I know it's dreaded MRE I'm not original I didn't think of anything but the MRE but look these are cheap um, I think I got these for six or seven bucks if you've ever been in a situation where you've had to eat these for a long period of time be prepared you could have wound up with an upset stomach or perhaps you may not go so you be prepared for that. These are very high in calorie. These are intended if you are in a situation where you're moving constantly. So you could split these up. This could be a meal between two people, or even three if you want to stretch it out a lot just to get some energy to get going. And you can stretch this out over a couple days. This menu is uh, roast beef and vegetables. There's all kinds out there. So you might want to try one out or a couple of them out before you go out. Practice with these because they have a heater in here and that's where most people mess up. They, they misunderstand the use of the heater. So practice on a couple of them. You don't have to spend the whole weekend eating MREs, but if you wanted to see how you're going to react to it, maybe take it on a camping trip first and, and give it a try, okay? You can find them at uh, online or you can find them at Army Surplus stores and what have you. Uh, baby wipes, I don't need to explain that, right? And you can rehydrate those. Just because they dry out doesn't mean they're not good. You're really in it for the texture of the paper, right? Bags of water. I bought these in a kit, and I was like, what, are, what in the world? Bags of water. I thought this is great. Uh, you know, approvals by the U.S. Coast Guard and, and all these others. I tried one of these, and it was like a mouthful of chlorine. So <laughs> I just thought it was... But the intentions of this for me is that if I were to have to escape somewhere and I was to have to move really quickly for 20 to 30 minutes, and depending on what time of year it is, I'm gonna have to rehydrate pretty quick. So I may not have time to go and find a faucet that's still working, uh, a swimming pool or whatever. So, hey, this, this will get me, uh, buy me a little bit of time so I get away, right? Okay. So we go into the, uh, the other compartment here, and I have toilet paper, right? Some people, this is like the most coolest thing that I've ever seen, and, and some people were telling me about this. This is survival cord, and I started looking into this as Titan. And I haven't opened this yet, but it is really awesome. Some people go and buy the paracord off the shelf at some of these local hardware stores. They got a working weight of about 195 pounds, some of them 200, whatever. This will go on up into, I think, around, you know, five or 600 pounds. I haven't looked up the exact spec, but the beautiful part, the one that really impressed me on this is inside here is multiple strands of usable material. There's fishing line in there. There's line that you can build snares with. There's other uh, support type uh, uh, cords in there that you can use. So it's not just paracord. It's got some of the best stuff in there. I think I paid 30 bucks on this from eBay and I found out also it sells out really quickly. So you kind of got to jump in there and grab it. Uh, there's a couple of suppliers in there. Hey, if you got to go an extra five bucks or whatever, hey, this is this is the best stuff out there, all right? I uh, keep a good flashlight with me. Some would argue that mag is not going to fall into the category of good flashlight because they remember the ones that you used to drop and they wouldn't work. I think this is great. The one thing about a mag light that I love is, especially with the Lara ones, but this one too, uh, you got the batteries in there and if you're in a little bit of a situation, you know, you can use it for more than just a flashlight. Since they put the LEDs in there, they're a lot more durable. And I found this one to be affordable. 
you know, just make sure you change your batteries out real regularly, okay, because the batteries will swell up in there. So moving on. Up in this compartment I have the dreaded emergency blanket. I don't know how much I like these, but if I could get somewhere where I'm sure I won't be seen, it's very reflective. It wouldn't take but one flashlight going across you and you've been discovered, but on a good cold night, you know, I wish you had it. I throw some hand warmers in there too. They're they're in there, but probably need to be changed out. Compartment two, cooling towel. Where I'm at, it's, it gets it stays hot for probably uh, eight months, nine months out of the year. I mean hot, and sometimes all the way through winter. And this cooling towel I found it. I was on clearance. You can dip that in some water, throw it on, what have you. Magnesium block here. A lot of you know how to do that. You can take and put you some, uh, some tinder there and you can start you a, a fire. And I keep a, a lighter on. I'm not a smoker, but I keep a lighter on me at all times. I just don't have it right here. Uh, matches, of course, you want to keep those if you can. Insect repellent. Five dollars. You might wish you had it. Glow stick. I have fallen and broken my leg and or I'm nursing a wound and people are looking for me and I'm down a trail or something I can't move. I'm gonna light this glow stick up or I'm gonna call for help. I can signal this thing or, you know, whatever. Okay, uh, the signaling mirror. So the signaling mirror can be used for a couple things. See if you've got a head wound or something, you know, a tick or insect on you. Uh, you could also, like, like it implies, signaling. But remember, when you signal somebody, you could be signaling two or three, four or five people, and a few of those you might not want to signal. And they say, well, I'll just signal on an airplane. Well, they may turn around and light you up, depending on who's flying it, okay? Carry tarp. Uh, this is a six foot tarp. I'm about six foot, close to it. And it might be just enough. If it rains or if you've got some other material there, you know, that you want to use to cover yourself up. You do like Rambo, I'll make you one of them really cool vest run through the woods. Yeah. But for $2.90 on sale, it's well worth it. Buy two or three of them. The Middle Eastern style uh, towel or scarf, the Shema, you could put that around you. I get the earth tone colors. And once again, you could use this if you had an arm issue or something like that, and you need to cradle that or block the sun off of you or even use it in, in, in camera. Okay, this compartment right here. Go through this pretty quick. The old GPS, you can find these in pawn shops. This one was given to me many, many years ago when they were new, and they were out there, and I wanted one. You just no guarantee you're gonna have a cell phone. You may have dropped it or may have got uh, you may have had to leave it. These are great. You can still cut these on. It's in black and white, but um, it can help you out, okay? Tactical flashlight. All right. Why is this a tactical flashlight? Well, it's got a point on it. And uh, this point right here, it can be used as a weapon, you know, or you may need to open a can. Certainly, we used to have a joke. We used them, we'd use them as a DNA collector because when somebody is finishing me off, I at least, you know, I try to get something on it. You know, maybe they'll find out who did what they did to me later on, okay? Everybody seen these? These are the solar cell phone chargers. Got a little piece of advice for you. Buy one of these, they're about 20 bucks. You get them in variable capabilities. This one will do two phones. You come in variable uh, milliamps. Pre-charge this before you go out. You can back charge it through an outlet or something like that, like you would, you know, put your phone on there. Set it out in the sun for all day if you got bright sun. Because I found out recently that if you don't think to do that, it take a long time to start getting affected. This one's got a light on it too. You can use it as a little flashlight. Twenty bucks. Order a couple of them. Put one in put one in your wife's bag if you got one in her car. Okay. We got to be able to defend ourselves. And I do mean defend ourselves. If I can't reiterate enough, if you're out there away from your home base, you're, you're with someone who's a Rambo saying, hey, we're gonna go right up this road right here, and anybody who's out there, you know, we're gonna take them on. 
don't go with them because those are the people that are typically going to lead you into harm and they don't know what they're doing. And you really just want to get home. Now, of course, you want to defend yourself if possible, and you want to defend others, absolutely. But remember, when you, when you go challenging people, they're typically not alone. There's more players with them, and you don't want to get, uh, you don't want to get taken out by some cheap 22 rifle from the bushes, right? Okay, carry this, this knife. This is by SOG, and this is very affordable. It has full tang. Uh, when I say tang, I, I do mean that the the uh, blade is in in one manufacturing process all the way through the center of the handle, and then they put on the grips, right? And is this my favorite knife in the world? No, but I think it's probably one of the most durable for the money, and I think it will get the job done, and it does stay really sharp. Uh, There's some other brands out there that I'm sure are a lot better, and I'm sure a few folks would like to tell me about them, and of course, I'd love to hear them. Another one that I don't have on this bag, I have on a camping bag, is the Mora knife. Uh, those are around 11 or 12 bucks. Mora, look it up if you want to buy three or four of them. You can get them. They're, they're fantastic. Uh, very sharp. The Swedes have got it down on that. Okay, so the weapon of choice. Why do I choose the, uh, the Taurus Judge? This is the Public Defender Poly. 45 long colt, 410 for a lot of folks who are not familiar with the calibers here. 410 is typically a, it is a small shotgun shell, a very small one. And the 45 long colt is a heavy, uh, solid projectile, one projectile round. It's very big. As I've gotten older, I would like to rely on a wider shot my vision is not the best, and I, uh, I prefer in a defensive situation to disrupt the, the event that's going on. I want to disrupt. So I figured the best way to do that, and of course, if it turns out you know, to, to be more than just a disruption, well, then that's, we'll just make that go the way we can, the best we can, right? I carry the, uh, all the, all the uh, chambers here are filled with the PDX-1 from Winchester and this is a 410 round. For those of you who aren't familiar with it, this is a defense round. Now look, the, uh, the, the PDX-1 and 410, if you look on the box, uh, the, the box here, you'll see that it has plates and also has some shot with it. And so you're going to see a, 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 a plates that are going to go kind of down the center and the shot's going to spread out. That's what I'm talking about. I want a wider shot. And I carry some extra ones in there. And, you know, this isn't something you want to go out and shoot every day. But in an emergency situation, I think that this gun is, is well suited for what I want to do. You're going to have to make that decision on your own. There was a time when I carried uh, AR and... And, I, and I'm a, a person who carries every day in the, uh, I carry a nine millimeter with me, a Glock 43. I'm not gonna give that up either, but this one right here, I, I have in there's, you know, kind of a backup. All right, extra rounds. And we talked about the 45 long Colt. Uh, let's look at that and let's look at the, this is kind of what I was talking about. You see the single projectile. And a lot of folks call that a hollow point. It's personal protection round. That's going to make a window in you. And um, hopefully you wouldn't have to use this. These, this is the 410 we talked about. This is kind of a, a buckshot type thing. Carry those. Like I said, you know, you're, if, you're, if you're being uh, accosted by somebody who's a rifle from a long distance away or what have you, uh, you, you may be in the wrong fight. You know, maybe you are the type that carries the rifle in your in your vehicle, and certainly that's a that's a good thing too. All right, so um, I want to go over my medical supplies really fast. I attach this bag on here. Um, I'm medically trained, rather advanced. 
and uh, our, uh, the state calls me intermediate. And uh, so in my bag, I carry a stethoscope, and that's not just to hear heartbeat, that's also for, has various, uh, various uses. Uh, we'll cover that in another video. Pain relievers, uh, all kinds of little things in there for treating scrapes and scratches and what have you. Uh, bleeding control, I always carry some good, you know, good cloth in here and I have more medical gloves, tape, and more gloves. Thought I forgot, didn't you? Of course I'm going to carry a tourniquet. Uh, this may not be just for me, it may be for someone else. And at least carry one tourniquet, okay? It's, it's, uh, you can buy these in packs of three, typically five, six bucks a piece, seven bucks. There's cheaper ones out there. Look, something's better than nothing, okay? Quick clot, gauze. And I know some of you have the, the uh, granules. If you've got the gauze, don't go stuffing them into, don't go packing that into, it's not a hole, okay? We're, we're trying to add pressure, right? I just carry a little bit of, I personally never been in a situation where I was able to use it. Um, it's not what you see on some of the med units there. And of course my uh, one person bandage here, this is, you could put this on yourself if you had a, you know, even a fracture, you can type this down with one arm and you can support yourself. You can look those up. All right, so the last thing, I want to tell you that in times of crisis, I carry the, uh, the copy of the New Testament with me. And I, you, you may be in if, you know, a hazmat situation or, you know, something has caused you to have to flee and you know you've lost several friends or you've seen a, a great loss and you've got time where you, you're alone and you just need some words of inspiration. Uh, you know, I think it's time to turn to your, your creator, your maker and look for words of inspiration and I keep a copy of this and I recommend that you do too. Thank you very much. This is the Sheepdog Society and we've got plenty of great videos coming. So um, see you next time, okay?